we're officially in the feeding frenzy stage of the video streaming revolution, with every media company and anyone with the slightest interest in capturing a viewing has announced a streaming content service, complete with an app, a modest library of original content, and, usually, a subscription fee. On one hand, the surge in options is great for viewers eager to free themselves from arbitrary bundles of channels to get more choices or save a little money. But it has also introduced a lot of complexity and confusion. What if you really want to see a show that's only on a particular service but can justify a whole new subscription fee? What if there are 5 broadcast slash cable channels you can't do without? What if you're just not crazy about flipping from app to app on your smart TV to find and watch what you want? All of that complexity comes from a key flaw in today's fragmented business model, the lords of content are focused on locking viewers into their private, walled garden platforms. The short-term benefits of this to the winners are obvious. However, the long-term costs to all of us, businesses, consumers, and innovators, should also be part of the conversation. Is there an alternative? Can we get past this moment of fragmentation to create something that serves everyone's greater interests? I say yes. I see a future of home entertainment based on open platforms, open standards, flexibility, and choice. Here's why. Open is better for consumers Consumers are obviously the biggest winner in an open future. Freed from platform lock-ins, viewers could pick and choose the shows they want, regardless of the provider. They could also browse a unified program directory to find their favorite content, without having to remember what shows are on what services. From a technology standpoint, it's fairly straightforward to construct a meta service to act as a switchboard, connecting viewers through providers to content and allowing providers access to the revenue and data they need while giving viewers a single, simple point of entry into the entire entertainment universe on whatever device they prefer. Hardware devices like Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Roku include cross-platform search, but they also already have, or will soon have, their own streaming services to push. Just Watch is one example of a company offering true cross-service search and discovery, independent of any hardware vendor or service. Another startup, Real Good, takes it a step further by letting you watch the content through their front-end and passing data to interested parties through its recent acquisition, Guidebox.